Kimberley Street is a popular food street in Georgetown. It is open at night and this is where you can find a wide variety of Malaysian street food. This place is famous for its kway chap, kway teow soup, cha kway teow and su guo tang. So we have finished our meal in Kimberley Street. It's extremely filling because we ordered a lot of dishes. We had uh, kway chap and uh, for kway chap we added a lot of other dishes. And then we had the cha kway teow, we had the kway teow tang and we had two desserts. The si guo tang, the pulau yitam and we had a drink, a barley drink. While there are a lot of choices, I think we stuck to the si da tian wang. The first dish for the evening was kui teow soup. Superstar Kui Teow Soup is a famous Kui Teow Soup stall in Penang. It has been established for more than 50 years and is now a third generation business. It operates from a cart just outside Dessert Old Time Delight Shop. Besides Kui Teow Soup, this stall is also famous for its braised chicken feet, braised chicken wings and thighs. To me, was quite nice. In general, I uh, don't think we both eat much of a kuih teow teng or a kuih chap kind of person. We are more of a cha kuih teow kind of person. So uh, we were quite pleasantly surprised. At least uh, I feel that the kuih teow teng was uh, pretty flavorful. The ingredients was quite a lot. But of course, I had an additional portion of liver, which I felt was actually a very good choice because the liver was definitely a very nice uh, addition to the uh, dish. Yeah, for me, kuih teow soup, right? I didn't like the kuih teow, I didn't like the soup. <coughs> but the ingredients were good, that's the thing, right? So the liver was very, very good. My, uh, a bit firm on the outside, in the middle was still very soft. Uh, the fish ball was nice and springy, and some of the other things inside the kuih teow tung were nice. Yeah. Not the kuih teow tung itself, but all the ingredients were very good. So overall, I think uh, it, it, was, it was okay for me. It was okay. Yeah. Next, we went for duck kuih chap, which is a favourite of people from all age groups. The dish consists of Chinese rice noodle strips, stewed duck meat, hard-boiled eggs, pig skin, pig intestines, and coagulated duck blood. There were so many ingredients in the duck rich broth that it not only looked great but also made eating it interesting as each scoop was full of different textures and flavours. So for the kuei chap, what I ordered is the kuei chap itself, then I added uh, intestine and two portions of the duck blood. So why I had two portions of duck blood is number one, I really love duck blood. It's my favourite that I can't get in Singapore. And uh, I thought that additional portion means that they would put like maybe five pieces, five small pieces. In the end, I had like two big, two medium-sized bowls. That's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. A lot of blood to eat. Yeah, a lot of blood to eat. So uh, yeah, I love blood. So I love eating them. Yeah, I think the kui chap for me was the best of all the dishes we eat here. Uh, the way they put it together with all the ingredients in their one bowl, uh, the comforting broth, uh, and so many different things, even one whole egg inside, or half an egg inside. Half an egg. Half an egg inside. And I think what I really liked was the, the pig skin. Uh, yeah. It was inside the soup. It was really, really nice. It was good. So we think that the kuih chap was uh, something that we would recommend. If you are new to the channel, I'm Nicole. And I'm Edward. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Kimberley Street Chakwe Tiao is run by Mr. Lian Yi Xiang, 
who has been frying up this dish for over 30 years. The store was founded by his dad in the 1960s, which makes this a second generation business. The store has been frequently featured in both social and traditional media as one of the best chakwetiao stalls in Penang. This chakwetiao is fried over charcoal and contains shrimps, cockles, eggs, and bean sprouts. The ingredient that is unfortunately not included is lap chong or Chinese waxed sausages. To this uh, chakwetiao that's recommended, there's outside Sing Wat Kiong coffee shop. So um, we were pretty disappointed because number one, the flavor of the chakwetiao was a bit weird, and uh, well, the prawn prawn element was uh, a bit of a disappointing. Not great. It was not good. It was a very small prawn compared to the other prawns that we had in the other chakwetiao in Penang. It wasn't very fresh. It didn't taste like that great. So I think yeah, if you want to eat chakwe tiao in Penang, you don't have to come and eat it here in this particular place. Uh, yeah. I think there are skip better, better chakwe tiao elsewhere. Yeah, so I say skip it. Rounding up the Si Da Tian Wang or Four Heavenly Kings, we had Si Guo Tang. Si Guo Tang translated directly to English is Four Fruit Soup. It is a refreshing ice cold dessert comprising of four ingredients in a sweet soup. There are many versions of this dessert with various ingredient combinations that keeps it interesting. For variety, we also had pulo hitam, a black glutinous rice and coconut milk dessert. The first sibo tang was a bit underwhelming. So sibo tang is something like a uh, cheng uh, for Singaporean it's a ching tung, but in fact I think it tastes a bit less uh, exciting. But the ingredients are okay, they put longan, they had some jelly, I think it was rose jelly, it was red in colour, uh, a few lotus seeds, uh, they had some sago, uh, and uh, what else did they have? Sago, longan, fungus, jelly. Mm, I oh think yeah, that, that is jelly. mainly the, the main ingredients. Yeah, I think that it came across as less flavorful. I mean, it, it felt like a, a nice cold drink, you know, yeah, just, that is not very sweet. It was just refreshing, yeah, I guess. Yeah, just refreshing refreshing drink that's not very sweet. Yeah. Uh, it's not something that we would like desire or want to order again. Bula Hitam was okay. So I think that it's something that we can probably skip as well. So I think that for Kimberley Street, people that say that some people say that it is a known for Si Da Tian Wang, right? Uh, I think you can skip two out of the sea. <laughs> Just go for the Kui Zap and the Kui uh, Teng. These two are worth it. And um, as we see in this coffee shop, right, we notice that people keep coming in asking for the satay. The satay shop is closed, but it seems like satay is uh, something that people are asking for. And I noticed that on their menu, they have a wild ball option, which is very interesting, right? Because I have not seen wild ball satay. I would order that too, right? Because uh, it's something that I've never eaten before. They get fish satay very often in Singapore as well. So they have fish satay, of course, wild ball satay. That's the two unique ones. Uh. Of course, pork satay. Uh, don't get that much uh, in Singapore as well, but they serve it here. Yeah. So I would think that uh, the satay in this coffee shop might be something worth uh, exploring. So one of the things that we want to uh, share is uh, that we realize that we have been uh, quite silly because we are novice, right? We have not been to here this place before. Uh, we went to every single uh, individual coffee shop uh, that is next to the store that we wanted to visit. So we moved from uh, coffee shop to coffee shop. And in every coffee shop, they asked us to order a drink or a dessert. So we had to keep ordering a drink and dessert. But they will say that that is the common practice. Yeah. You know, if you eat a chak kway tiao outside, you go to the shop to sit, you got to order something else that, inside that, the that, shop. That's fair. But then I realized at the last stop, after <laughs> we changed all the different uh, we made all the changes uh, in location that you can actually stay in one place and uh, actually get chakui tiao or get kui zap or get the kui tiao teng delivered to the coffee shop that you are in and then, then you can consume the, the item uh, just sitting in one location then you don't have to waste that, uh, that money on the dessert or the drink or the stomach space for the additional desserts yeah. that you have to eat yeah so that's something that uh, I think we learn and uh, if we come again uh, that's what I'll do so, just to share on the cost, 
uh, what we pay was uh, for the Great Delta. Uh, I ordered extra uh, serving of liver, so that came to ringgit seven dollars for the uh, Great Jack. Uh, I ordered the small uh, portion of Great Jack plus one uh, uh, additional intestine and two servings of duck bird. So uh, that came up to ringgit twenty two. For Cha Kui Diao, I ordered the one with egg and it came out to ringgit 7. In uh, desserts uh, that we ordered in the various coffee shop, uh, Si Guo Tang was uh, ringgit uh, 550, uh, Pulau Hitam was uh, ringgit 450, and the Bali that we ordered in this coffee shop is ringgit 180. So the total amount that we spent today at Kimberley Street is uh, ringgit 4780. So at the end of the day, we are very full. <laughs> I didn't spend that amount of money. I think there's just a buzz about this place. Um, I think it's just good to be around a lot of people, uh, everyone enjoying themselves and eating. Uh, it not always be the best food, but you know, like just for the, the atmosphere is also pretty nice. Yeah. So would I recommend Kimberley Street? Uh, yes, I would. But uh, go for that too and skip the, the uh, Cha Kui Diao and the Si Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell below so that you'll be notified of our new videos and watch our other videos here. See you in our next video.